This is KShire22 here, uh, coming right back at you guys with this Java series. This will be the second assignment that we'll be doing. Uh, now, let's go ahead and just begin. Uh, for this assignment, I always go straight down to the output. This way, I kind of know what the, the instructor is kind of expecting. So just kind of scrolling through, we can kind of see just little bits and pieces of what he's looking at, what, what the instructor is actually wanting. And normally towards the very end, there should be an output such as this output format. So it looks like we're trying to do a sum. We're going to try to do some division and even some multiplication. So this, this is our goal right here is just to do some math. That's the whole point of this assignment. And this is actually pretty, pretty simple. So we're going to go ahead and open up a new project, click new, and we can go ahead and begin. Now, if you have a template saved, we can go ahead and use that template. For instance, this is the template that I have, and it's just a text file where I can actually go ahead and just kind of paste it in. These two are not needed, or actually they might be needed for this one. No, they're not needed for this one. So we can actually take that out, and we can also take this out. But like I said, um, create a template so that way you can save it. I add edit right here So if I were to try to compile this, it's not going to let me go ahead and just save this the way it needs to be But go ahead and fill out the information for this assignment Okay, so once you've got that all filled in we can go ahead and copy the program name into the public class name and We're gonna go ahead and just kind of start now if you have two monitors that'll work really great for this but for the main part, we can go ahead and just split our screens and go straight down to the output. Let's see here. Okay, so we, we need to go ahead and start with the section one. And we can go ahead and start with the basic printing or we can go ahead and declare our variables. And a lot of time you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and declare your variables first. That's the way I like to do it because we're gonna to have to do that no matter what. It's gonna to need to be at the top of our program. So we're going to go ahead and do a first number and the first number actually needs to be 10 and then we're going to have to add comments later. So we'll just put those two slashes in the second number. Okay, and we can go ahead and do is equal to three. And you may want to look at your actual uh, assignment to see what these numbers actually need to be. And I can double check that before we get off the video. Okay. So once you've got all your variables input, what we can actually do is, let me explain. So int actually means it's an integer that's going to be a whole number. So that's going to be, that can even be negative, but it can't be decimal. So it can't be 3.1, 3.2. It's going to be a whole number. Now a double can actually have a decimal and that can be, you know, whatever you want it to be. So that's a double. That's the difference between those and the assignment requires, you know, that we have some double variables in here. Now, the next thing we want to go ahead and do is follow this output over here. So we're going to go ahead and type in system.out.println, which is just ln. So print ln. And I don't actually count the stars and I mean, you can, Maybe your, your instructor's that picky, but I, I just do six just for the heck of it. Now, anytime you just want to just print a line, that's going to go ahead and just be system.out.println and then whatever you want. And you've got to have four spaces in between these. At least that's what my instructor talks about. So try to, you know, kind of pay attention to that. Anytime there's a bracket, you want to indent four spaces. It's literally stupid, but you know, if you want to practice to be a good programmer, I guess that's what you've got to do. So then the next thing is going to be system.out.println. And we're going to go ahead and do the two numbers R, and then put a space and we can do plus. And this is going to conjoin our, our variables. So we can go ahead and do the first number plus the second, and I don't have a D on there, I don't know why, but we're just gonna go with it, and then put your semicolon. So system.out.println, the two numbers are, and so forth. And that's just going to do the addition that we need, or actually that's just going to show the two numbers that we have. 
let's see here. So we can go ahead and run this program and do compile. Let's go ahead and save it. Variable practice looks good. And there it is. So that, that we've got to fix that. And there needs to be a semicolon and compile. Most of the languages that I use don't have semicolons, so sorry about that. The two numbers are 10 and 3. And that doesn't just, that, that just doesn't satisfy. So we're going to go ahead and add, uh, let's see here. And, and let's go ahead and see how this looks. So when we run this, the two numbers are 10 and 3. We can take this out, okay, compile and run. Okay, good deal. All right, now let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead, pause the video and input the rest of the code and just kind of explain it for you guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and explain this now that I've got that all pasted in. So the sum of the two numbers is and then you would put a plus sign and that's going to join any sort of text. But if we go ahead and put parentheses, this is actually going to do addition inside this parentheses. But outside the parentheses, this plus sign means it's just going to join the two strings together. And a string is any combination of characters, letters, uh, sorry, symbols, numbers, you know. So then we're going to add that period. The difference of two numbers is and so forth. And the only thing that's changing in these is, you know, the type of multi uh, math that we're doing. And then, of course, the, the symbol. OK, and then going down, we're going to actually have to use for division. We're going to use doubles. So that's that's what that's all about right there. And then section two, it's the same thing, except we're using variables to go ahead and store our our math and then we're going to use that variable to display what our math is um, calculating to. So let's go ahead and compile this and we're going to run it. And by the way, all these will actually be in the description for you guys to check out. So here that is. And let's go ahead and sorry. Let's go ahead and expand this if I can. And let's check it out. So it looks like these are actually pretty identical. If you want an, a blank space, if you're that picky, you can actually type that in there. And that's just like that. And that's how you actually get a blank space. And the semicolon. And that's it. That's all for this lesson, you guys. Now, you can actually do some formatting to get that to just two decimal places, but that's not actually required in this lesson. If you guys have any questions or comments, just, uh, just comment below, subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys in the next video.